Hello again, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will manipulate strings using two Python functions, namely ORD and CHR. We learned from our previous video how to access individual character or element in a string by using its index. Consider the following codes. Accessing the third element of the string, we provide index number two. In this multi-part video series on a string, we will manipulate a string that contains a secret message and convert it into an obscure and cryptic set of characters to hide the original text. But before we do some spy stuff, we need to know and understand first a thing or two about strings which I have not covered in the preceding videos. Strings are composed of characters found in an industry standard encoding system called Unicode. In Unicode, each character, like the letter A, is represented by a number 65. This number is uniform across different operating systems like Windows, Linux, or iOS of Apple. If we search in Google how many characters in Unicode, you will get the answer of 143,859 characters. Of these characters are the letters of the English alphabet, including the space and special characters like asterisk and hashtag. Since each letter in the alphabet is represented by a number in Unicode, we are able to manipulate the letter through its numerical value, which means if A is 65, we can turn it into B by adding 1 to its numerical value. There are two functions in Python that will help us with this task. One function is called ORD, which converts any Unicode character into its numerical value. The other function reverses this effect. The CHR function takes a Unicode number and converts it into a Unicode character. To clearly illustrate how these two functions work, let's take for example the variable this string, which has values A, C, E in all uppercase. The variable this string is of class string, which may not be used for computation. To solve that issue, we need to convert first the character A into its Unicode numerical value. Take note that the variable this string is a string having letter A as its first item, which is accessed by referring to its index that is zero. The ORD function converts A to 65 and stores it to a new variable called Unicode number, which is of class int. Printing the new variable in its type or class should make things more clear. And since the variable Unicode number is of class integer, we can now use it for computation. Let's add 1 to the variable Unicode number and print the result. The variable Unicode is now 66, which is equivalent to letter B in Unicode. To confirm this, let's use the CHR function to reverse the effect. I will see you in the next video to see how we can use our code in a little spy mission.